Hi Luke from Cork here in the studio with Megan O'Neill and um, we've got the Nautilus 88 in front of us and we're going to add on to the track we did last time with some drums this time so we put some nice synths down and we're going to add some drums from the Nautilus. Yeah so this is my song Wildfire and the last time we added some velocity filter some really beautiful arpeggiated kind of synth sounds from the Nautilus and now we're going to the, the original drums from the original song have been taken out, so we're gonna we're gonna add our own in. Yeah, so let's just have a quick listen to what we had before. We got that love that lets you burn it so that's the kind of synth song so we added last time. Like so we need to liven it up with some drums, really. Mm -hmm. um, and actually, in that same sound we had last time, in the ARP pad, in the ARP tab, you can also control the drum track. Um, and you can have, like before, we had four scenes. So you can have four scenes of arpeggiator pattern, but you can also have four scenes of drum track, mm. which will change. Um, so this is the drum pattern, and you can see that changing when I'm changing scene. Mm -hmm. So if we start the drum track going, that's the pattern we found, which is just an eighth pop rock for the kind of opening section. And then when I press scene two, going to kick it up a notch just for the yeah. for the middle eight there. Very rock and roll. Definitely, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's funny, it's called rock and roll. That, yeah, that I love that. <laughs> so anyway, so you can, yeah, you can toggle between those and you can have it to four. We're only using two today, but that's cool. So, so each different sound, like we, we, we're on the velocity filter at the moment and each different sound is going to have its own drum sounds to accompany as well. Absolutely, yeah. Plus you can have four scenes, so four different patterns and they can be different kits as well, so it's just crazy. crazy. Yeah, it's absolutely crazy. So what I've done in Logic already, I've, as you can see, I've got a MIDI track and I've put a little trigger in for the drum track. So it should trigger automatically. So all I need to do is turn it on, play it back, and it should just start now. And again, they're clocked via USB. So the tempo of Logic is telling the Nautilus to play back at 140 BPM, which is what it's doing. That's why it's completely in sync. And you'll see as that's playing through, that's just triggering that drum track. But as it comes to the end there, there's another little bit of MIDI data, which I've also recorded in just by touching the screen there. So you see that as soon as it gets to that bar before the next section, this will then trigger and go to the next pattern automatically, which is great. And then we're into the middle eight and we've got a different drum pattern. Unbelievable. Crazy. So let's have a go at recording that in as audio now. So all I have to do um, effectively is do what I just did, but arm the audio track as well, uh, which is the one below it. So this one will play back, and this one will get recorded the audio, so it'll bounce the audio back out via USB into that track. Okay. Turn on the drum track, here we go. I'm gonna turn off the click as well, and I'm also going to solo this, because at the moment, we've got, the way we've got it configured, we're hearing all of the audio coming back via USB, so we only want to record these drums. Okay. So we need to just make sure the click's off and here we go. That's now recording. As you can see, it's recording into that track. It should then trigger it. There we go. So we've got 16 bar bars of this first pattern. Mm -hmm. See the eight pop rock pattern. Yeah. And you've got some lovely little ghost notes and fills in this pattern. And like you're saying, it, it really fits this song. Oh my God. So like well, it doesn't made it? For yeah, it. it's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> so we're bouncing in the drums of that first section. So now you should hear and see it change to the second scene here. It's also changing the snare yeah, sound. Yeah, nice snare sound. Different yeah. vibe for this section. Great. So that'll, that'll bounce in. So we'll let that do its thing. And you've got this set, so there's a four count coming into the second one as well. Yeah, what's really good is you can change the way these scenes trigger. Yeah. So you can change them in the scene select to be immediately when you press it or wait for the start of the next measure, which is what we want here because we want it to be as musical as possible so it changes at the right time. Yeah. So just by putting those two little tiny bits of MIDI information in there, we're, we're triggering it just okay. as we want it, which is really cool. So we're coming up to the end now, another one of those nice fills, and then we'll have a quick listen to how it sounds in the mix. There we go, coming to the end. So that'll just keep going because it's still triggering, so I'll stop it. So 
unsolo it. Let's have a listen to the, the whole thing. There's our drums. So I need to mute my MIDI track so it's not triggering twice. So now we've stamped it as audio, we're done really with that, that MIDI track. Like Lovely per little feel. Perfect yeah. place for the feel. Like I know, it's <laughs> bad. So again, we'll, we should now move into the, the middle eight section where the bass comes in and some guitars. And the pattern changes as well, give it a different feel. So, yeah. Amazing. It's so great to be able to like record that using this rather than having to, to go into any of that in Logic. Just it's just it's just a really nice tool because there's so many great drum patterns yeah. in there and those drum patterns can be used by themselves or with a different kit so you've got so many different combinations mm. it's, it's, it's really amazing so so there we go that's what we've done today we've taken Megan's song wildfire and we've um, we've added the synth sound from last time and we've put some drums in using the drum patterns and uh, maybe next time we'll be adding another track let's see and I have no need for a drummer anymore there you go I'm <laughs> set <laughs>